Now this side. Look at that. Gotta give five more pretty powerful mini torches. Let's see what I got. This one's I found all of them on Amazon. Looks like there's a little bit of gas, but we'll have to refill them. Okay, you can adjust it out here pretty easily. Very nice and powerful. Starting and turning off pretty quickly. Okay, let's see what else we have here. This one seems to be a little bit bigger. Check this out. So maybe it will be more powerful. This is open. Okay, you can lock it in. Wow, that's way more powerful. Check out this difference. And this is on maximum. This is uh, halfway. Wow. So you can set it up small or more power. Yeah. Whenever I was buying it online, by pictures, it does not give it justice. But that's way, way more powerful. Look how huge that is. Very, very unique. And it comes with already uh, filled up. And then you can lock it in for welding or whatever. Awesome. Okay, this one looks pretty similar to the other one. Let's see what does it do. Seems to be the same brand. This one is more like a flat one. Oh wow, that's powerful. So that wasn't even full. That is the maximum. And look at the comparison, this one versus that one. Look at the flame. And you know what? I love it that whenever we turn it on, the flame shuts off instantly. That's huge, looks like a lightsaber. Okay, that one's a really unique, check this out. It's already filled up too, look there's a lock, I like that, and there's maximum, that's minimum. We gotta spin it this way probably for maximum. Okay, maybe it's out of gas. Nope, maybe maximum is this way. Wow, that's power. Again, compared to this one, but when I was buying, I thought this one would be as powerful as this lighter. You just never know. But check this out. These two are very powerful, very, very uh, similar. But at the same time, this lighter, the flame a little bit more pointy. This one a little bit more broad. That's cool. And there's one more. That is powerful new light us out here. Looks like luck is uh, maybe built in, no? Yeah, just, oh wow, that one is way weaker. It tells you how much gas I have left. You can lock it in. This one is more like closer to this one. Maybe even weaker. How do we adjust gas? Right here, that's not a fun way to adjust it. So these two are pretty much the same. Maybe this one has a little bit more flame and it doesn't shut off right away. I do not like that. You see how it doesn't shut off right away? So it's a waste of gas. So that one is the lamest in my opinion. But as you can see, these two are the same size and look at the flame difference. I don't think it will light up on maximum either. No, it did. Look at that. This is why I'm putting it to the test. So that way if you buy one of these lighters and you want to have a really powerful one, size does not matter. Look at that. Even though they kind of built very, very similarly, look at the design. That one is way higher quality. You see it shuts off instantly and bigger flame. This one is very slow. So I'd say this is the three of my favorite lighters out of five. Now you know which one you wanna buy. Let's see how it does. Look, burn through the hole really quickly. Let's see.
Look at that. It burned through the hole so fast. Now, what about this one? Smaller hole, but burned it off even faster almost. Yeah, just as fast. Pretty awesome. On the maximum. Now this side. Look at that. Super fast. This is a really, really powerful lighter side here.